Welcome back, Wolfpack. Verlus here, and this is how to use Drampa. So, Drampa has a typing that we haven't seen before the 7th generation, and that is going to be the normal dragon typing. Think dragon, add a fighting weakness, add a ghost immunity, and that is the normal dragon typing. So, as we can see right here, four weaknesses. Fighting, ice, dragon, and fairy. We have that immunity to ghost, and then we do have some resistances as well. That is going to be fire, water, grass, and electric. So, yeah, it's slightly different than dragon, so it's not really too difficult. Looking at the typing offensively, we're going to be resisted by Steel. And also, Ghost and Fairy-type Pokemon are going to give us a little bit of an issue offensively, and then we just have not much variance at all. Like, Normal doesn't give us any super effective hits, and Dragon only gives us one. But at least we hit a lot of things consistently, so at least that's going to be some bonus points right there. Looking at the stat breakdown of Drampa... This is, Drampa is like the perfect embodiment of 7th generation stats. We have like nothing on speed, we have above average-ish defenses, and then we have a pretty ridiculous attacking stat. So 135 on that special attack, that's damage. Things are going to happen with that, but at the same time, 78 hit points, 85 defense, 91 special defense, even with full defensive investment isn't going to be super tanky, and that 36 speed is like below any saveable range. You know, if we had 70s, 80s, up into 90s or something, then there's a chance of like a plus one or a scarf on the speed making the Pokemon outspeed everything, but yeah, with this... We're going to get outsped, we're going to try to do a lot of damage, maybe we'll be tanky enough to survive some things. So let's go hop on over to Cerebi, see what Drampa is capable of, and we already see the new ability, Berserk. Boost the Pokemon's special attack by one stage when its hit points drop below half from an attack. I think that's the key thing with Berserk, that if, say, you take Toxic Damage, Leet Seed, or some kind of indirect damage and it drops you below half, that will not activate your Berserk. Also, you can reuse Berserk over and over again, so if you find a way to get back above 50% of your hit points, well then, if it activates once, you drop below, it can activate twice. So now we're looking at a really high amount of scaling damage, and we're slow anyways, so depending on where our bulk lies and how much damage we're taking, we're going to receive a hit, get 50% damage to our 135 special attack, and then we get to hit the opponents. So there's a lot of potential to just go and murder everything with this insane amount of damage. Drampa's moveset initially doesn't look all that impressive though, that alright, what are we looking for? We got the Dragon Pulse, we got the Hyper Voice, but then when it comes to TMs, we get insane elemental coverage. We have Ice, we have Fire, we have Electric, so we can throw down the Flamethrower or the Fire Blast if you guys want to play that accuracy game right there. And we have Ice Beam for the extra little bit of coverage. I don't think Ice Beam is going to be as insane with that Dragon Stab though. And then we have all kinds of other fun stuff, Focus Blast, Energy Ball, pretty much whatever you want to run. We even get the Surf, we have Snarl. So yeah, our coverage is going to be absolutely nuts on the Drampa. And since we don't really have to worry about any physical attacks or stuff, you know, play Roth, Outrage, that's kind of cool and all, but... We have Draco Meteor, Hurricane, and a massive amount of special attack. So the damage is going to keep scaling up as we go and look more into the Drampa. So this is what I was thinking for just starter Drampa ideas, that it does get access to the Roost as well. So Berserk drops you below half, you Roost up above half again, and then you take damage, and now you're at plus two, and you just go and destroy everything with your insane amount of damage. Like 135 special attack that gets at least a free plus one or even more is kind of the greatest thing ever, because when you think about damage calculation, alright, if they're not 2-hit KOing you, they're 3-hit KOing you, which means at some point, you're surviving a hit below half if they're not 1-shotting you, and then you're returning a ton of damage because of that Berserk, and that's why I'm looking into the Confusion Berries, because it restores half of your hit points when you drop to a quarter. Well, this is like a magical range of bulkiness, that the average attack is going to do about 40% of our health, and then it just kind of shows either we take a huge hit, we roost back up above it, and then at some point we're going to just survive in red health and we just kind of stall it through the roost, wait for the guav berry to give us free health, maybe even get another roost on top of that. Now we're at full health, now we're at our plus one, now we're at our plus two. We take out the biggest offensive threat the opponent has, and then if they don't have another super hard hitting Pokemon, well then we're just guaranteed to get a hit, roost, and go and kill everything else. So that's why I also want to go and look into the other options, because we're running that roost. So that means we only get three coverage moves, Hyper Voice and Dragon Pulse. I feel like you just kind of have to run both of them for the damage consistencies right there, and then something that can melt those Steel-type Pokemon. Each of your stab attacks, as we noted earlier, are going to be immune by something. So you just can't run only the Hyper Voice and then sacrifice some coverage, or run only the Dragon Pulse and sacrifice the coverage right there. Because yeah, you're using Dragon Pulse, and then you don't have anything against Fairy-type Pokemon, when that stab boost on the Hyper Voice is really going to matter at that plus one range to try to get the most damage on all of those Pokemon. And that's why I want to go and bring up a Type Coverage Calculator. It's like, why put the flamethrower down you know we have dragon we have normal how's that gonna look 
it's not going to look that fantastic because steel type Pokemon are going to be bad for us then that means you might think oh like ice beam you know you just run the ice beam you take out guard chomps you take out ice weak Pokemon well yeah it doesn't really do too much for us the electric type hits going to be a little better but then we have more immunities to worry about so that way every move we're throwing out can be immune by another typing so that's really not that good we can run the energy ball we can run the surf but as we go through these it's going to get pretty specific and in the end fire is just going to be really good so it's going to give us the least amount of not very effective hits it's also still going to secure us quite a few super effective hits as well so 219 on something else 275 I think it actually might be the most uh focus blast would maybe be the only thing that switches up but yeah focus blast 70 percent accuracy not really as worth it but then if you see a threat like scissor if you see a threat like ferrothorn you'll at least get to deal with them and then do insane amounts of damage like fire coverage is very very good so it is something to hold on to especially when you have the normal and the dragon this is just going to be one of your best options for the coverage right there so it shows that Drampa does have a lot of extra things that it can use but I wouldn't recommend using four offensive moves unless you are running the choice specs but then you think about it, we have 1.5 times damage on top of plus one on the stats so another 1.5 times damage with our insane amount of special attack and then we're using whatever coverage move that we need I feel like if it's just so weird how Drampa does have something that's going to immune it at all times. That if we didn't have to worry about ghost type Pokemon, you could just kind of run the hyper voice. Or if we didn't have to worry about fairy type Pokemon, just kind of run the dragon pulse and do insane amounts of damage. Also, you could tech in the Draco Meteor if you want to, because 130 stab base power on 135 special attack. You can guarantee you're going to kill something on the opponent's team for free, which is a huge one-shot hit right there. And even though you're going to lose stats afterwards, I think it's still an option to consider if you really just need high damage on top of a bulky Pokemon. So that could be an option for the Drampa. And then we have a tank set. So what you can do is you max out the hit points, you max out the defense, you run the Calm Mind, you have Roost, so you do have a sustaining option. I recommend leftovers in this case some people might think like the citrus berry some people might try to go for another one of those confusion berries just for like the burst healing and whatnot but I feel leftovers is going to give us the most peace of mind you know if, we, if we're taking almost slightly lethal damage from like a super effective special attack or something I would rather have the calm mind into leftovers we you know we get a little bit then we call mine and then we get a little bit more after surviving and then that's going to be enough health to get us into the roost because there are those really weird scenarios that's going to make like a confusion berry worthless say we do the call mine well then we just die like we never have a chance for that item to activate but with the leftovers it's also going to add on to our roost that we get our roost and then we get another 1 16th of our health so that's going to really add up as long as we're on the field more than four turns we're getting more effectiveness out of a citrus berry and with the drampa specifically we're going to try to get that bulk out of there we're going to try to go for that long game and it's also really hard for the opponent because they have to do more than just half our health because that little bit of leftovers will tick up and then make it kind of challenging and then we have dragon pulse and flamethrower mostly because i just like this coverage a lot more going back into the uh, calculator and stuff dragon fire that's going to give us eight not very effective hits and then if we have dragon normal two no effect because mimikyu and shedinja like there's it would be really bad if we get all this set up and then Mimikyu comes in. Also, look at all of those not very effective hits. So this at least gives us neutral options and some extra super effective hits. That's going to be really nice to have in the long run. So don't go dual stab if you're running something like this. And then leftovers, Berserk with the Roosting. Like, you're going to gain so many stats. Like, Calm Mind is more there just for the special offense and not necessarily for the special attack since Berserk is giving it to us anyways. And then, you know, after you drop below half once or twice and then you use Calm Mind once or twice, we're at a plus two, plus three, plus four for special attacking Pokemon that's one shotting everything on a dragon pulse are doing insane amounts of damage with that flamethrower and technically flamethrower has that chance to burn so like you land that chance to burn and that gives you more effective defenses um as for what else you could do fire blast like fire blast is a really interesting one because it does have that 85 percent accuracy it's not the worst it's not like you're running blizzard or thunder or something like that that fire blast is the safest to run like even hydro pump only has the 80 percent accuracy so if you want to go for that little bit of extra damage fire blast especially if we're like this tanky like it's not going to be as bad since we are playing that tanky set that we do have a little bit of forgiveness if a fire blast misses here and there it's not like a sweeper pokemon that gambles on it and then loses that 15 percent roll and i did want to bring up clefable because drampa is going to play kind of similar to Clefable. Clefable's a bit tankier, but it's kind of the idea if you max out hit points, you go full into defense, you use Calm Mind, you have a sustaining move, and then two da damage options. So it's kind of similar to the Clefable, you just don't have as cool of an ability with that Magic Guard or the Unaware really making you a mad tank. But this is going to transition to damage quicker on the Drampa. With Clefable, you have to be plus three, you have to be plus four on those Calm Minds before you can start reliably hitting opponents. But with Drampa, realistically, you could like Calm Mind, 
roost roost have berserk activate a couple of times and then you're just ready to start killing things a lot faster than you would with the clefable and then the special attack is just so much higher that clefable it only has 95 on the special attack and it doesn't really go anywhere as fast so dramp is just going to scale into way more damage than clefable at the cost of just slightly less tankiness like once you get rolling you know clefable doesn't die to any special attacks anyways and drampa is about as tanky defensively because has that 85 on defense with 78 on hit points compared to the 95 73 so it's still going to do pretty well and now let's go and look at some damage calculations because all these numbers and all these things I'm saying don't really mean much if we don't see how it plays out. So I wanted to go up against just a frail-ish Pokemon, seeing what kind of damage we're doing. The Hyper Voice, that's going to be our highest damage move as well. The Dragon Pulse has 5 less base power, so Hyper Voice at plus 0 will be doing a solid amount of damage. That's 2-hit KOing the average Sweeper Pokemon, but then if we just have Berserk activate, you know, they do a lot of damage to us, Berserk activates, well, Hyper Voice, that's going to be a KO right there on the modest offensive set. And it just kind of shows if we just get that... That's to activate. That's all we need. We just need that, and then we can do insane amounts of damage. So what about a tankier Pokemon, a bulkier Pokemon like the Silvalli? Well, Silvalli is still going to be a two-hit KO either way at plus one or the plus zero. But as you can see, that plus one damage really gets up there, even against something that has 95 on the hit points, 95 on the special defense, and it's going to do pretty well. But what for that spec said? That all right? Let's go and bring up the choice specs. Choice specs overkills a Pokemon like the Silvalli. So it does damage to us. We specs and we nuke. GG. And then also just kind of showing the other damages. You know, Fire Blast starts getting into lethal range right there. We also have the Draco Me Meteor for insane amounts of damage. But yeah, even like some moderately invested Pokemon. Actually, I want to I want to see what happened if we went up against another Drampa. Like just max 252 on the hit points with the Drampa. Yeah, we can still take that out. So. 78 base hit points with 252 EVs and then uninvested special defense. We're still going to be able to one shot with this uh, choice specs plus one. And then without that, it's going to be in that two hit KO range. So about as tanky as a Silvalli when we break down the numbers like that. Uh, and then I just have all kinds of really fun stuff to look at because, okay, we need Drampa to survive. So let's go and look at some more defensive sets. If we're not going for full defensive investment and we're just playing the offenses right here, we can see that flamethrower, that's going to be solid damage, but not insane. Even the fire blast doesn't like turn into guaranteed KOs on a Pokemon like Celesteela on that super effective hit. But this is going to be an adamant 2 bit 2 attack, heavy slam, iron plate, you know, big damage Celesteela right here. And Drampa has enough to survive it and most likely proc that Aguav Berry as well. So then the Berserk comes into play and then never mind, Celesteela is going to die. So good stuff right there. From the Drampa on the survivability. What if we were going for the full tank set? Because I kind of want to show both sides. Because it's all going to be up to you what you want to run. That full tank set still has a good amount of bulk. So it kind of gets pretty weird against the Celesteela. Because when we look at it at plus one with zero on that special attack. Fire Blast is still going to be a KO on the Celesteela. So that means after the Leftovers heal comes into play. We're still around half health. We can, you know, whatever the opponent does. We can roost against them. Try to start kicking our health back up. Use Calm Mind Roost, Calm Mind Roost. And then we're still finding really good amount of damage. And it's just showing like... Those higher end hits, like Celesteela is a super powerful hit and showing that's not really threatening us too much to where we can't come out of it on top in some way. Other Pokemon like the Galisopod, I want to see how much damage Galisopod does. You know, that's a 125 attacking Pokemon. It has a little bit of bulk as well. We can see that the Leech Life is going to be around half our health, so that just kind of shows they hit us with the first impression, we roost it up, we take that leftovers, they hit us with the Leech Life, we roost it up, we take that leftovers, and the whole time, Berserk is activating. So this is like that ideal situation where if the opponent, you know, they're just running in circles, they're not gaining any momentum on us, but we're just gaining special attack every time we sustain, and then we can go and turn around and one-shot Galisopod at some point. And this isn't even a defensive set. If we had the full defensive set, it looks even worse. For these offensive attacking Pokemon, because now we could roost up, thread in a Calm Mind, roost, 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 thread in a Calm Mind. If they bring a special attacker, well, we already have special defense against them. And if they go and bring in or another physical attacker, we can still tank them out. And at some point, we just turn around. Oh, by the way, what's our special attack? Uh, plus three. And then that's going to be actually insane. Also, we can see with the Celesteela, uh, that's a modest nature. What if we were actually running that bold nature? If we had a defensive nature, go and be better against Celesteela. Defensive nature, which is what I did recommend, that's going to be what we're using against Galisopod. We just tank. So that's why I really like this set. And then I wanted to go and bring up against some special attackers. So Greninja's interesting. I'm ignoring the Ice Beam because that's just super effective one-shot hit, but I'm looking at the Dark Pulse, you know, a powerful stab neutral hit from a Life Orb boosting special attacking Pokemon, you know, we can still survive that, you know, Dark, Dark Pulse, we use Calm Mind. 
Roost, roost. Come on. Roost, roost. Oh, now we're at, what, plus four on our special attack, and then we can just throw out a Hyper Voice whenever, and that's going to be a KO right there. And this is even looking at the hit point defensive set, because once our Calm Minds start going, yeah, we just make it work. So as long as the opponent isn't going for insane super effective hits, or as long as they don't have, like, one of the hardest hitting special attacking Pokemon ever, uh, let's see what the Alakazam is. Because Alakazam can be a pretty interesting matchup for a lot of Pokemon. You know, it's got that Timid, and then let's run it with the Life Orb as well. So yeah, that super effective hit on the Dazzling Gleam might be a little too much for us, which is why you could run a Citrus Berry instead of Leftovers on, like, the uh, tanking set. But I'm just kind of looking at it from that point of view of a same type attack boosted move. That's Psychic. It's going to be stronger than the Greninja's attack because Alakazam has that 135 special attack. We can still survive that Psychic. Get into Calm Mind, then what's that plus one on the Calm Mind going to be? Also, let's let's make sure this Drample looks right. So, Leftovers right here, and then we're going to have the plus one on that Calm Mind, and then that means the Psychic goes down to 40. So, for this kind of damage, it shows that that Leftovers or the Citrus Berry, whatever item we're using, it's going to give us slightly enough, and then we can outroost it from here, because now Alakazam's damage is capped at that range so that means after enough roost after enough leftovers healing we're going to be back up close to full health we get another calm mind we go back up close to full health and then we are going to be good to go against these tanky pokemon or also what if they did have that physical attacker they switch out on turn we're going calm mind well now there's special attackers coming in at a disadvantage and it's still not going to be able to beat us down but it gets into that bulk range that's what i mean it's surprising like that clefable that by going max hit points max defense you can wall out and out sustain a lot of physical attackers and then by the time a special attacker comes in they are completely out of options because you've done Calm Mind so many times. So that's kind of what I was looking into with these sets. Bold Nature, max out the hit points, all kinds of fun stuff like that. And it shows Drampa can be surprisingly powerful and no matter how you want to run it. If you need that quick offensive, just retaliation, insane amounts of damage, then that's where you might want to go and just run that Aguav Berry. This is, going to give you two, this is going to give you two KOs under a really good situation. You know, they do a lot of damage or they're kind of chipping around at you. If they can't do like 60% of your health, you get another one hit KO on them. So you can two for one on the Drampa or you can kind of try to get that setup game and then just look for the damage and make it happen. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is how you use Drampa surprisingly powerful like it, it's a really fun pokemon to look into and it does a lot of cool things so if you guys enjoyed the video hope you all have a nice day thank you very much for watching